blueberries. I can't concentrate. They said they would be finished yesterday. I mean, how much banging and shoveling and trenching can a person take? The berry kids are working on the juiceberry pipes under my cafe. I've been trying to make very many banana chips and I couldn't concentrate with all the oh, noise. Oh, now, <laughs> what were you saying? Pretty much what you said. I have to finish writing this song for the Wailing Willows Band, but how can I concentrate with all this noise? Didn't the Barricans say they'd be finished yesterday? Well, they were being hopeful, I guess. And you know how these things go. It's hard to predict how... Uh, uh. Strawberry, hi, Miss Cherry. Top of the morning to you. <laughs> and good morning to you. Hi, guys. How are all the repairs going under the cafe? Uh, well, you see, uh, Miss Strawberry, uh, we uh, we were trying to tackle this Sparkleberry power outage problem that's affecting the entire town, and and we um we kind of crossed some cables under your cafe. I gotta, you know, uncross them. How long will that take? Well, <clears throat> we are estimating, guesstimating, guaranteeing, hoping, planning, speculating, uh, skeptically speaking, calculating, crossing our fingers. Do you mind? <clears throat> uh, no doubt we will have this all fixed up by end of day. I see. So probably best if the girls and I clear out of town for the day? Say, that way we wouldn't get in each other's way. Okay. We'll see you at the end of the day then, Earl and Ed. <laughs> I am losing a whole day of work. I can't finish this song out in the countryside. Uh, I am very stressed. Oh. Cherry, we're all gonna lose a day of work, but I don't see any way around it. Let's make the best of the situation. <laughs> a banana chip picnic? They look so good, like gold treasure. <laughs> no, no, no snuffling the treasure, Cinepup. I know. Let's do something different. Oh, no! I had the whole day set aside to organize the home improvement section. What's that? Oh, that could be really fun. I'll get some paper. But, Strawberry, could you, um, come by and help me with a, uh, predicament? Blueberry has a predicament she needs help with. What's a predicament? Um... A pickle? A pickle? A jam. Like a music jam session? <laughs> um, no, more like a, a difficulty, a, a problem. Ooh, that really is a predicament. <laughs> Don't worry, Blueberry. We'll have you out of there in a minute. Predicament. <laughs> okay, so each team has a pen and paper for writing clues? And you all have your secret treasures? Mm. So how this treasure hunt works is, each team will write three clues. The first clue will lead to the location of the second, and so on. At each location, you will find a secret treasure. Whichever team finds the secret treasures first will win the jackpot, which is back in town, waiting. Just so we don't get in each other's way, why doesn't my team go this way? And Blueberry, your team could go that way. Good idea, Strawberry. Okay. We will have one hour to hide clues and treasure, and we'll gather back here afterwards. And then we can begin the treasure hunt. Yay! <laughs> Should do it. All righty, Earl. Let's get everything cleaned up. Oops. <laughs> I think I left my Skittle Jinx by the cable cue joint. 
talking about were you eating toast no, no it attacked me oh you were attacked by a piece of toast well Ed I'm, I'm, I'm only telling you what happened I don't know how she can stand it who can stand what strawberry can stand working in a cafe that's you know haunted 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 there's no such thing Earl Eesh, you and your fancy imagination. Well, Ed, I, I'm only telling you what... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got work to do. Come on. Hm. You made me leave my Skittle jinx behind again. Well, Ed, I didn't mean to... Wait for me! You stay up there. <sighs> Let the treasure hunt begin! Yay! <laughs> the first clue is, I'm open in the morning, closed at night. I am blue all the time. Isn't it glorious? Blue. Hmm. Oh, I know. Could it be Blueberry's bookstore? Her store is open in the morning and closed at night. What do you think, Cherry Jam? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm so distracted about that song I'm supposed to be working on. Come on, Cherry. Get in the spirit. We need your help to win the treasure hunt. You're right, Orange. Okay, let's see. Blueberry's bookstore? Well, it's not closed all the time at night. It's open sometimes at night for book club and, and Barry can story time. And Barry Bitty City is off limits for the treasure hunt, so I don't think they would have hidden the next treasure there. Blue all the time. Isn't it glorious? Why would it be glorious to be blue all the time? You know, blue isn't sad. Cause you're Blueberry? Mm -hmm. I don't know. If it's not Blueberry, who is blue all the time? Mm -hmm. I know. Glorious. Glory. <gasps> A morning glory flower. And I know where they grow. <laughs> hmm. Excuse me. Pardon me. I beg your pardon. Morning glory. You're right, Orange. They are open in the sunlight and they close at night. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Bumblebee. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> Our first treasure. A sailing cap? Hmm. What's the next clue? Once I was only broken sticks, but I was put together. Then someone gave me shells that will break and give me feathers. Someday I'll lose my feathers, and when comes wind and rain, I'll break apart and be just broken sticks again. I was only broken sticks. Girls, <gasps> have you seen the pups? Pupcakes in a pup! Marmalade! <laughs> oh, you sillies! <laughs> Have you been playing? <laughs> <laughs> Remember, ladies, keep your eyes peeled for a peel on a pine cone in a parsley patch. Wait, huh? Doesn't berry can bloom grow parsley by the meadow? Oh yeah. broken sticks, but I was put together. Then someone gave me shells that will break and give me feathers. Someday I'll lose my feathers, and when comes wind and rain, I'll break apart and be just broken sticks again. 
A bird's nest! Well, hello there. Sorry to disturb you. What does the next clue say? Your heads hold the next clue. What? I don't get it. You're both holding sailing caps on your heads. Maybe we're supposed to find a boat? What do you think, Cherry? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Worrying about your song? <sighs> I'm sorry, girls. Come on. Let's go check the dock. Hmm. Oh, how beautiful. I think she's wishing us good luck. Look! Mm -hmm. A peel on a pine cone in a parsley patch. Our first treasure is a strawberry. Oh! oh. Hmm. Where are the pups? Hmm. Peter Patch! Where have you guys been? You can find me at the bottom of the lake and sometimes in your shoes. You don't like it when you find me on your picnic blanket. But if you want to find your next clue, come find me. I am a castle, but if I get wet, I'll be a lump. Hmm? Castle. In my shoes. Bottom of lake. Picnic blanket. <gasps> hmm. I think I've got it. You do? Sand. We have to find a sand castle. The lake! Hey, Al! Hey, would you mind grabbing me some more nails? I think I left them over by the fridge. The fr fridge? Well, how about today? Oh, uh, I think the floor is fine. A couple loose boards won't hurt anyone. You know, we can just tell them to walk carefully around this spot. <laughs> I'll just... Throw a rug over it and nobody'll know the difference. What? We, of the official order of Berrykin construction workers, trench diggers, and carpenters, do not do sloppy work. You want anything done right? Guess you gotta do it yourself. Oh. Are you asleep? There it is! A sandcastle! Careful! Don't knock it over! Look, Raspberry, what do you make of this? It's just a patch of fabric. It's nice to each have treasure, but put your things together. Share, and you'll get there. Start at points north, south, east, and west, then put yourselves together. Hmm. Put our things together. A strawberry patch! A strawberry patch! Put ourselves together? I don't under... Well, I don't... I don't get it. Let's go to the strawberry patch first, then go from there. I don't see anything in the boat. <gasps> Look! Now I have a hat, too! Well, first we have to get it. You guys wait here. We'll be right back. <laughs> If we four split up and each go to the north, east, south, and west points of this strawberry patch and put ourselves together, we should end up in the center of the berry patch. Right, Plum. Okay, team. See you in the middle. Hmm. Come on, Scouty. You can help. Okay, hurry. We have our treasure. Let's be first back to the gazebo. Where did the pups go? Uh... Huh? I told them to wait right here on the dock. Hmm. Marmalade! Come here, girl! Cinepop! Should we go to the gazebo and then look for them? I think we better look for them now. Pupcake! Cinepop! Pupcake! Cinepop! Here, boy! Where'd you go? Where are you? treasure. We are in the center of the berry patch, or thereabouts. Look! There's something buried here. Buried treasure? 
Everybody. Ah. Neat. Let's head back to the gazebo so we can meet first. Those berry bitty banana chips sound pretty good right now. <laughs> Come on, Scouty, mm. show us the way. Maybe the pups got lost. I think we may be lost. I don't recognize anything around here. Oh, this started out so <gasps> fun. But now we are really in a predicament. Oh, no. I'll never get back, and I'll never be able to turn in that song I promised the Wailing Willows. Mm. My work reputation will be ruined. <laughs> now, let's not get carried away. Oh. Oh. I have an idea. Let's play a game to help cheer ourselves up. How about the game Think Up a Song for Cherry? <laughs> How about I Spy? Ooh, I like that game. Okay, you start. Hmm, okay. I spy something that starts with an F. Uh, a fern? No. I know, a flower. You got it. Okay, your turn. Hmm, okay. I spy something that starts with a B. Mm hmm. Um, a bird? You're too good at this. <laughs> That's so pretty, Cherry. It's the bird's song. Wait, I have an idea. I could write my song about all the beautiful things we've seen in nature today. That's a great idea. I love it. Something like... song. I'm so very happy. This is great. I never would have had this idea without this fun treasure hunt. Uh -huh. Huh? What was that? <laughs> there you are. You found us. <laughs> My marmalade. <laughs> Come on, Cinepup. Show us the way home. <laughs> Scouty, I feel like this is where we started. Are you leading us in circles? What's that? It's the other pups! Finally! <laughs> we found Hello. you! We were lost too! Hooray! Huh? huh? Scouty? What's wrong with you guys? We better head back. Uh, let's call it a tie, and we can all share the berry bitty banana chips. Yay! I'm starving! <laughs> What's wrong with the pups? <sighs> so that's where they were sneaking off to the whole time. Our treasure is gone. <gasps> oh, no, it's not. It's right here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to the cafe, and I'll make a fresh batch of berry bitty banana chips. Yay! Yay! 
Well, that should do it. Everything back to working order. Uh, what was that? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I didn't hear anything. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna have to think up something else to do out in the countryside. Oh, that's too bad. Aw, oh, shucks! Oh, yeah, too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet Sour, that was a fantastic adventure story you told. I'd like to write up a version of it sometime. A tale of twins in the very deep, dark forest. No such place. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I gotta get back to work. What was that? My instructional camping video. No, what did you mean by no such place? It's just that everywhere I've been, and I've been almost everywhere there is to go, I've never heard a very deep, dark forest. Yeah? Well, maybe you got a better story? Ooh, I don't know. I think Sour and Sweet's adventure would be hard to top. Oh, I could top it. Easy peasy. Then why don't you? Here, stay with us. Tell us a story. Yeah! yeah. Come on, Apple. We want to hear about your big adventure that's more exciting, uh, thrilling, and... Daring than the one Sour and Sweet just told. Okay, I'll just make it quick. Well, this story, it was the kind of thing that happens to me all the time. I'm sure. Well, it was... Adventure! Thrills! Danger! That's my life, don't you know? This particular time, I was reporting on the Berry Bitty Great Race for my Berry Best Bits travel page. The four-leg course was an equestrian-style cross-country, a mountain climb, a hot air balloon race, and a sailboat race. Of course, to report it, <laughs> I had to enter it. Ah, thank you, Tea Time. Riders to your mouth! <gasps> These are the moments an adventurer lives for. <laughs> Contestants were already mounted on their steeds. I gave them a sportsmanly nod of encouragement. <gasps> Little did I know, they had no intention of behaving in a sporting way. There were Mr. McSnivels, Guava Guttersnipe, and Cruddy Do No Good. I felt there was something oddly sinister in the way they smiled back at me. But I paid it no mind at the time. Look at her. Not enough she's won 199 races. She has to make it 200. Greed, I tell you, greed! Wretched girl! And her little turtle, too! This time she'll never reach the finish line. <laughs> Not if I have anything to say about it. Or do no good about it. <laughs> Sun in your face, the wind in your hair, the power of your noble steed leaping over every obstacle. What happened next, Apple? Yes, then what? Well, Tea Time and I were doing great. Way ahead of the pack. <laughs> ahead already? What a surprise. Nah, it wasn't any surprise. It looked like things were gonna turn out exactly like the other 199 races I'd won. But then, all of a sudden, without any warning, dastardly deeds threatened to thwart my stellar performance. 
What I didn't know was evil doings were afoot. Broccoli! No rabbit can resist it! Apple Dumplin's chance to win is doomed! <laughs> Dingus, Mr. McSnivels! Pure G. Uh, just really smart. Thank you, Miss Guttersnipe. <laughs> Away! Uh -oh. <laughs> of geometry and mechanical engineering, I figured out just what to do. This one. <gasps> Curses! Foiled again! The villains! <laughs> what a couple of cheaters they were! Unbelievable! I mean, incredible! I mean, that's really obnoxious. I hope that was the last you saw of them. Um, not quite. Here, Apple, try some hot chocolate. Mmm, that's really good! Okay, well, what happened next? Did you win the race? Yeah, what do you mean, not quite? Ugh, you mean there's more? Oh, yeah. Did Guttersnipe and McSnivels come back? They did indeed. Because their dastardly deeds in the cross-country race were only the beginning of their, um, dastardliness. Relax, Tea Time. We just gotta get to the top, down the other side, fly a hot air balloon to the lake and sail across it to the finish line. Easy peasy. Always going swimmingly, or should I say climbingly, when out of a blue and sunny sky, we were hit by a blizzard. What I didn't know at the time was, it wasn't a blizzard at all. It looked like we were doomed. Until, all of a sudden, I spotted shelter. What was 
that? The legendary abominable snow beast of Very Big Peak! Let's get out of here! <laughs> Some may have trembled in fear. Some may have fled for their very lives. Not me. No matter what the cost, I had to find out what it was. Well, what was it? What did you find? Weren't you afraid? Me? <laughs> Terrified. Farther and farther, we ventured into the darkness, not knowing what sort of beast we would encounter. For the love of Lederhosen, who are you? I'm Apple Dumplin', and this is Tea Time Turtle. We're competing in the Berry Bitty Great Race. I'm Ilsa, and this is my twin sister Elsa. Do you yodel? Do I what? Yodel. Like this. Yole, yole, yole. Wait! We agreed to yodel always in the key of B flat. Ah, says you, it was the key of C. B flat. C. B flat. C. Um, excuse me. Perhaps this key would work for both of you. Bless my strudel, a D-sharp person. Yeah, I think you're right. Well, shall we try? And the one, and the two. Yole, yole, yole. My goodness gracious, we rocked! <laughs> You better get over there. You are in first place. You want to keep it that way, yeah? Well, this tunnel turned out to be kind of a shortcut, so I think I better wait until the rest of the contestants catch up. Only fair. Ugh, oh, sauerkraut, who will know? You could get a big head start. A race is only fun if it's fair. Come on, tea time. We'll wait at the balloon launch. Good luck, Apple Dumpling. And remember, wherever you go, keep yodeling! A race is only fun if it's fair. That's what I told him. So you can imagine my shock to find Cruddy do no good, doing no good. What'd she do? What was it? Untying all the balloons so she wouldn't have any competition. You can't do that! It's not fair! <clears throat> fair schmear! <sighs> See if I care! <laughs> she did it! Wait! Look! Hold on, tea time! <laughs> Mountain wilderness. And then. Look, 
tea time! The St. Bernard Rescue Dog here to save us! He led us to a tropical fruit stand on the mountain. <laughs> a tropical fruit stand <laughs> on a mountain? Is this not getting just a bit ridiculous? May I continue? Oh, oh yes! Please! Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Morning or noonin' or afternoonin'. Welcome to Fern Fron's Tropical Fruit Stand. I'm Fern Fron, but you can call me Fern, friend. Nice to meet you, Fre Fern. Uh, I'm Apple Dumplin', and I'm competing in the Berry Bitty Great Race. Ooh, you're about a mountain off course. I saw some real treachery going on up there in the sky. Could it be someone wasn't playing nice with others? Hmm, pretty much, yeah. Hmm, sorry about that. How about a frozen banana chocolate pop? A Fern Franz specialty. Actually, would it be possible for me to purchase this banana peel? Certainly, but what would you want with that? Uh, huh. looks like you've got someone who doesn't play well with others heading your way. Peel, sure thing. Come on, tea time, they're gaining on us. Why, that's, that's stealing! Stealing, schmealing, after that peeling! Hey, that's stealing too! That's right! One bad turn deserves another! Ruddy do no good. In all my days as head official of the Berry Bitty Great Race, never have I seen the level of treachery and dastardliness that you have displayed today. Wait, it's true. You never have seen, because you weren't there. You didn't see us. How do you know we did those dastardly villainy things we did? Uh, you say we did. I'm with Cruddy. Where are your witnesses? Witnesses, you say? Allow me to introduce you to our race rule monitors. You think we just sit around all day and yodel? We've been keeping an eye on you. <gasps> and it wasn't just bad deeds they were monitoring either. Apple Dumplin? For winning the race, and most importantly, for your good sportsmanship, I award you... First prize! What a great <laughs> story! <laughs> what great imagination! Apple's a tall tale natural! Good job, Apple. Gotta admit, that was the best story yet. <sighs> you win first prize for imagination. Imagination? What do you mean? I didn't make it up. Every word was true! <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Sure it was. Tea time? My scrapbook, please. Thank you. Wow! Whoa, 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 wow! <laughs> Wait, 
You mean that story you told really was real? Well, sure. Wasn't yours? No. no. We made it up. What? Why? It's our camp out <laughs> tradition. <laughs> Roasting marshmallows, hot chocolates, sitting around the campfire telling tall tales. We do it every year. Didn't you hear us talking about telling tall tales? Uh, no. I guess I was working on my camping video and I missed it. <laughs> you didn't miss it, because you told a great story. Well, if I can make up a story, the very bitty great race is nothing compared to what I could tell in a tall tale. But as it stands now, I'd say sour and sweet win first prize for imagination. Thanks, but you can't give this to us. No, no, it's okay. I've won 200 of them. In fact, did I ever tell you about the trans-desert treasure of the Lost Pyramid Road Rally? No. But, um, what about your video project? Ah, that can wait. We're on a camp out. I want to do what you guys are doing. Great. Let me heat up more hot chocolate. Any more marshmallows? Well, there I was in the middle of the greatest sandstorm to hit the desert in years. Uh, hello, Miss Orange. Oh, hi, Berry Kinboil. Thank you so much for getting me this pogo stick. Very thoughtful of you. <gasps> Look what I can do now! Oh, it helps when you're busy. But do you ever get busy? Oh no, it's fun! And I love the built-in hopometer. Janie Bug, did a package come into the post office back there for Berry Can Bloom? It's definitely one of these. Oh, watch out! Oh! <laughs> Oh. oh, here it is. Well, do you think it's the vacation brochure you've been waiting for? Uh, well, you see. You must be so excited. Finally going on a vacation. Well, actually, uh, I'm not going. You aren't? Well, I decided it was more important to buy these special berry seeds. So I can't afford a vacation just now. These new berry plants will really do great things for the berry works and everyone in Berry Bitty City. Oh, but Berry can bloom. You gave up your vacation last year to sit with my sick petunias. And the year before that to help bring in the berry harvest. <sighs> Maybe next year. Well, I'd better get these seeds into pots. Wait, don't you want to see the new issue of Berry Bitty World Traveler? Oh, I'll, uh... Take a look when I'm closer to taking the vacation. Works too hard, that bloom. Not good for a berrykin. Hi, Orange. I just saw Berrykin bloom, and he seemed not very happy. Fantastic! Well, not really. I'd say more sort of mm, sad. No, I mean, look! The magazine is holding a contest. Anyone who can break a Berry Bitty World record wins a vacation of their dreams. That's what'll cheer up Berry Can Bloom, a vacation. And I have an idea how to get him one. It's a very good idea, Orange. Good. Oh, it's great. Berry Can Bloom really deserves a vacation. But breaking a world record to get him one? What can we do that's world record worthy? Well, what are we all good at? You're an expert cook. Raspberry's an amazing fashion designer. <laughs> and Plum, you're such a talented dancer. <laughs> Thank you. We're all good at lots of things. So which one of us should try and break a record? Well, that's my other idea. If we all try to break a record, each of us doing something different, we'd have a better chance of one of us winning the contest. Oh, let's do it! Orange, you're in charge. Oh, uh, okay.
is twice as high as this souffle. Well, gotta keep trying. Shh, don't tell. Hello, Mr. Longface. Berry can bloom. Good day, Miss Shortcake. Good morning. Any specials today? Uh, why, yes. Strawberry souffle. Oh, sounds delicious. I'll have some too, please. <laughs> Coming right up. As I was saying, Mr. Bloom, I've been reading this fascinating history of strange sicknesses. Bizarre ailments that anyone could catch. <sighs> My goodness, how catchy are these, um, things we could catch? Oh, very catchy. Sneak up on you without warning. I'm on a chapter now about a disease called Goofa Lupus Wackyitis. It causes people to do strange, funny-looking things. Things they've never done before and that don't make any sense. Enjoy. Mm, wonderful. Oh, thank you. Blueberry, anything else I can help with before I leave for lunch? No, that's everything, Bosley Bookworm. Thank you. Well, see you after lunch then. See, see you, you, Bosley. Bosley. Hello, Berry Bitty World Traveler Magazine? I'm calling about your contest for the free vacation. Well, I just wanted to let you know that there are some very big records that are about to be broken over here in Berry Bitty City. But, but, how many? I'd say about six records. Oh, I don't know what they'll be. Just that they'll be big. Very big. You'll send an official contest, Judge? Friday? Perfect. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Well, it's all set. All set? But, Orange, I'm not sure we're prepared. Prepared? I've been stacking cans in my store for I don't know how long. I'm an expert, and that judge is going to see a stack of canned goods like never before. Uh, okay, but... But what? Remember, you're in charge. What should we do? Oh, I guess I kind of jumped ahead. I'm sorry. Um, okay. I'll make sure everyone has picked something to break a record with. Good idea. What are we gonna do? Maybe if I help you come up with something, it will help me come up with something. Oops. I guess we're not going any higher. I can't stack them outside. They'll get dirty. <gasps> I know. How's it coming along, Raspberry? <laughs> well, I'm trying to make the very biggest dress ever. <laughs> I tried to make the smallest dress ever, but I couldn't see that small to make those silly stitches. Looking good. Keep at it. The contest judge is coming Friday. Oh, what? <laughs> Looking good. Ah! Sorry, Lemon. Uh, didn't mean to startle you. Oh, it's okay. It wasn't really record-breaking anyway. <sighs> I tried everything I can think of, even painting toenails faster than anyone did before. Ooh, how'd that work out? Oh. Well, think quick. You've got until the day after tomorrow. That's when the judge gets here. Oh. Uh, Meriba Ertl shoot slipper? Oh, what? Uh, the record for reading stuff upside down is safe. I simply cannot stand on my head for that long. I'm sorry. Good try, though. <laughs> Having fun? You try and dance while walking on your hands. Hmm? Oh, show me. Uh, 
I don't think I can. I've been practicing for hours. But, okay, for you. That is incredible. Sick. Sick. Oh, no. Times many mountain the climb to try they. Treasure the find could they. Top the to get could they only if. Oh, that time was slower than the last. I'm not sure that breaking the record for reading backward is what I'm best at. Come on. We may be bitty, but I know we can do big things. Okay. <sighs> Times many mountain the climb to try they. Treasure the find could they top the to get could they only if. Times many mountain the climb to try they. Treasure the find could they top the to get could they only if. <laughs> oh dear. What? Oh, my hair. Um, I'm having a problem with the dyes. Can I help you with something, Barry Kim Bloom? Uh, I was worried about. Uh... <laughs> Whoa! Uh, oh, bitter berries. <laughs> Plum? <laughs> what are you uh, worried about? Well, uh, she. Uh, I mean, uh, that is, uh, Miss Lemon. Don't you think she's acting a bit strangely? No. But... Oh, well, you know, she just really loves to exercise. Oh. Oh, well, if that's all it is. Would you like a mineral salt foot soak? <laughs> uh, no, thank you. I think I'd better get this plant into the ground. Well, uh, see you soon. I mean, around. Okay, bye. Ugh, foot soak. Good one, Lemon. Nothing I try seems good enough. In a record-breaking way, I mean. Not to mention, Barry Kim Bloom is getting suspicious. Which he wouldn't have if you hadn't been practicing your record-breaking in broad daylight. Where else can I practice? My studio's too small. Girls, please, let's not pick her. Who said that? She did. Why do we have to meet like this anyway? Because Barry Kim Bloom is out there tonight checking his night blooming jasmines. I think my big dress is just silly. The judge is gonna laugh at me. Guys, guys, where's our can do spirit? Orange is the only one who has can do spirit. Stacking can do spirit, that is. Ha ha ha. That's good, because the person in charge should have can do spirit. Being in charge is harder than I thought. Oh, come on, girls. You must be able to think of something, but not for me. Remember, this is for Berrykin Bloom. Hey! <laughs> oh, dear. Wait. Orange, your can stacking. It gives me an idea. What? Maybe we need to share ideas instead of doing it all alone. Maybe instead of cooking things, I could stack fruit. <laughs> the highest fruit tower in Very Bitty World. Yeah. And after you win, we can eat it. You know what, Strawberry? Your poofiest, highest souffle idea gives me an idea, too. Maybe I'll try a poofiest, highest hairdo. Oh, boy! That's terrific! Oh, but what about me? I'm running out of material for that big dress I'm stitching. That's it! What about a dress with the most stitches? I mean, you've done so many of them in that big dress already, and no one can stitch faster than you. Oh, yes! Thank you, Blueberry! I'm using it. And you know what? No one can read out loud faster than you. Why don't you go for the record of reading really fast instead of upside down and backwards and, well, you know. I can't believe I didn't think of that before. Thanks, Raspberry. See, girls? I knew we could do it if we helped inspire each other a little. What about you, Plum? Uh, I don't know. What about pirouettes? Oh, the most pirouettes in a row! Hey, yeah! Girls, we've got it! All our worries are over! Skipping 
going backwards, eh? Yes, and Miss Orange has been taking her merchandise and stacking it outside. Ooh, a classic case of goofaloopus wackyitis. <laughs> Thank goodness you brought this to my attention. There's no time to lose. Oh, dear. Uh, but are you sure that we need to bring the doctor? Very sure. Okay, time to take charge. Today's the day. You ready? Wow, you look like the world's biggest souffle. Is that good? No. Are you off and running? Uh, pogoing? Well, yes. I'll let you hop to it then. See you later. A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? Oh, not fast enough for the world record. Faster, faster! The judge is coming this way. The wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. It's so good of you to come, Dr. Nutby. At first it was just Miss Plum, but then it seemed to spread. Oh, my. Hmm, I personally have never come across this. You'd best inform Princess Berrikin. No telling how far this is going to spread. Oh, tragic. Very sad. What can be done? I'd better see the other patients. The judge is around the corner. Oh, keep poofing. Miss <laughs> <clears throat> Barang, are you in there? Miss Meringue, she has other girls she needs to see. You're right. It wouldn't be fair. I've never seen anything like this. Hi. Well, what do you think? I think you better stop, Miss Plum. <sighs> oh, well. I just get too dizzy. Dizziness. Hmm. But wait until you see Raspberry. We were just on our way. Now, now, it's best not to exert yourself, my dear. Oh, no. You mean you can already tell? It doesn't have enough stitches. Oh. Oops. <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll be amazed by what Strawberry is doing. Yes, I'm sure we will. <laughs> I'm afraid this is beyond medical science. It is worse than you described. I'm going to call in more doctors. There's no telling how far this could spread. Oh. Take cover! Oh, too late. You didn't get to take a measurement. I'm going to take your temperature. I've never seen anything so severe in all my days as a doctor. Doctor? Dr. Hazelnutby. Now, stick out your tongue, say, ah, uh, and uh. tell me, why have you been stacking fruit? To break a world record so we can win the contest. <sighs> she believes she's in a contest. But, but, but we are in a contest, all of us. Aren't you the judge? I'm the doctor. Mr. Longface called me in to help you because you are all sick. But we're not sick. 
Now, girls, you can't deny your strange behavior. Hopping and twirling. And stacking cans and cartwheeling and... We were trying to help Orange win a vacation for you. A vacation? For me? If we break a Berry Bitty World Record, we'll win a free vacation from the travel magazine. And we... we're going to give it to you. Oh, oh dear. That's the most wonderful... I can't believe it. But we failed. I don't think we failed. Orange, you really took charge and inspired us to do much better. <laughs> Higher, bigger, faster than we all imagined we could. Even if none of us broke a world record. Uh, but one of you did break a world record. We did? How do you know? I am the contest judge from the magazine. You? Bosley Bookworm? Yes, they have representatives all over. My, it is hard keeping up with you girls. My stack of cans? <gasps> is that how we broke the record? No, your pogo stick bounces. I have been counting them since I saw you on it a while ago. And look, your hopometer confirms it. You've had ten more continuous bounces than the old record holder. Yeah! <laughs> Congratulations, Berry Pin Bloom. The girls have won you a dream vacation to anywhere in the world. I don't know what to say. I'm just so relieved they don't have a Goofaloop. Uh, what was it? Goofaloopus wackyitis. It's all right here in my medical book. Goofa what? Oh, Mr. Longface, this isn't a medical book, it's a joke book. It is? Yes, it's just a comedy book full of silly made-up maladies. My goodness, uh, I, I'm very sorry. I guess uh, <laughs> the joke's on me. Don't worry, Mr. Longface, it all worked out. Now that my Tower of Fruit is on the ground, who wants to come in the cafe and celebrate Berrykin Bloom's vacation with a big helping of... <laughs> Strawberry Souffle! Very 
very good picnic. Yay! Somebody forgot their phone, Strawberry. Here. I know who this belongs to. Once upon a time, there was a princess who lived in a far, far, far away land, and she was. Oh! 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 Excuse me. Here, let me help you up. Sorry. Yours? No. Mine? Mine. And the prince married the princess, and they live happily ever after. <sighs> there, finished it. Just in time for Blueberry's Book Club. Oh, here, Plum. Huh? Oh, thanks. I forgot where I left that. In the boat. Oh, yeah. That was it. I've been so busy practicing for my dance recital, I'd forget my hair if it wasn't attached. It, it is attached, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no problem. The boat drifted away, though. Maybe you forgot to tie it up. No, I tied it up. Maybe... You forgot to use two knots? One knot, two knots. Not that it matters. <laughs> well, it mattered to the Berrykins. They had to get the boat back from the middle of the lake. Uh, just saying, you know, two knots is the rule. Whose rule? I do not recall. <laughs> well, Lemons, it's her boat. Well, maybe it's a silly rule. But don't tell her I said so. I do not want to get in trouble. <laughs> Hi, Plum. What you mailing? Invitations to my dance recital. Great. Hey, I'm, I'm getting one, aren't I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Huh? Got him! <sighs> Thanks, J.D. Bug. Wow! There must be enough letters here for... for... For everyone who lives in Berry Bitty City and every last Berry Kin in Berry Grove. Uh-huh. Wow! They all need to go out right away. Could you please stamp them extra special, super urgent, ultra fast delivery? <gasps> I... I get to use my extra special, super urgent, ultra fast delivery stamp? <laughs> They'll be delivered faster than you can say! Extra special, super urgent, ultra fast delivery! Thanks! An invitation to Plum's dance recital! Wow! <laughs> wow! Wow! Something wrong, Miss Shortcake? The date of Plum's dance recital. She's holding it here at the Cafe Cabaret stage, which is fine. Except that I think the date she invited us for is already taken. Oh, no. Blueberry signed up for that very date. Wait a minute. Plum didn't sign up at all. Oh, must be some mistake. She knows the rule about signing up. Everybody does. Strawberry! Oh, hello, Mr. Longfeet. Hello, Miss Muffin. Strawberry, did you give Plum my cafe cabaret night? The baby berrykins are going to be so disappointed. I'm supposed to read their favorite story to them. I did not give her your night. Plum must have forgotten to sign up, or, or to check if the date was taken, or... <sighs> it's all right. She'll have to reschedule her dance recital. But, but she already sent all the invitations. Oh, poor Plum. I know. I feel badly, but fair is fair, and you followed the rules, and she didn't. Don't worry. I'll explain it to her. <sighs> well, okay. Thank you, Strawberry. I don't envy you having to tell Plum. I don't envy me either. Somebody's going to be very disappointed. <laughs> Plum, do you have a minute? Sure. Oh, did you get my invitation? Um, yes. That's just it. The day you invited everyone, the cabaret stage is taken already. <laughs> Why? Well, you never signed up for it. But, oh, 
Okay, so I'll sign up now. It's too late. Blueberry reserved it weeks ago to read to the baby berrykins. Oh, no. Could she switch it to another date? It's not her. It's the rules for the cafe. It's my rules. Well, can't we just change the rules this time? She could read to the baby berrykins any night. That's not the point. She followed the rule, so it wouldn't be fair for her to have to move her night. Oh, but all those invitations! I made them myself, by hand! I'm sorry, Plum. I'll help you redo your invitations if you'd like. No, that's all right. I'll do them myself. Well, I'm really sorry, Plum. I'm here to help if you need me. Did you say Plum's new dance recital invitation? <laughs> I think it's the best joke she's ever played. Oh boy, I haven't checked my mail yet. What does it say? She moved the date of the recital and the place. Now it's in her dance studio, not Strawberry's Cafe. And she says there are new rules for entering the studio. Listen. To gain admission to dance studio, please, one, wear a yellow hat. Two, knock three times. And three, Guess the secret password. <laughs> oh no, that plum, what a jokester. Um, I don't think she's joking. Of course she is. Isn't she? She's mad about my sign-up sheet rule at the cafe. But that's a rule that makes sense. Wear a hat and knock three times? That's just nonsense. Yoo-hoo! Miss Pudding, the door's locked. <laughs> We're here for our dance lessons. I hear knocking, but not three times. Strawberry was right. She wasn't kidding. I thought maybe she was being silly. She's definitely being silly. <clears throat> Password, please? Betcha it's a ballet dance step. Plie? <laughs> nay, nay. Sorry. It's her favorite pie. Uh, um, is it gooseberry? My favorite pie. But not the password. Hmm. How about ridiculous? <laughs> ridiculous it is. I'll say. Uh, uh, uh. Yellow hats? But we don't have any yellow hats. Then I'm afraid... Are you serious? You're not going to let us in because we're not wearing hats? Yellow hats. Oh, but Miss Pudding, I've been practicing my foxtrot for a week. I almost have all my feet together. <laughs> fair is fair. Rules are rules. Oh, I've never heard of anything so silly. Hmm, me neither. Oh, but it gives me an idea. Oh, shoot, shoot. Okay, so we're all going to go. Where's Plum? She's never late for book club. Maybe I'll give her a call. Hi, Plum. It's Strawberry. We're all waiting for you over at Blueberry's for book club. Uh-huh. Okay. I understand. She says she needs to practice for the recital. Hmm. She should have had plenty of time to practice today, given that she wouldn't let anyone in for class. I know. I don't know what's gotten into her. Password, please. Sesame? Sorry. Tickle? Nope. <sighs> well, I'll have to come by another time then. I can't guess. That's it. You got it. Hmm? The password. It's guess. <laughs> Pretty clever, huh? Uh, uh, but you're not wearing a yellow hat. Plum, I think we need to talk. I know you're upset with me, but it seems like you're taking this grudge too far. I don't know what you mean. All these nonsense rules? If you think my rules are nonsense, what about Raspberry's rules? Raspberry has rules? Come in. <laughs> but don't forget, you may only stand on the docks. 
What? Oh, Strawberry! It's you! You don't have to stand on the dots. May I ask who does? Well, when Plum comes here for her fittings of her dance costume, she has to. Ooh. Fair's fair. If Plum's going to make me obey silly rules for her dance studio, then she's going to have to obey my silly rules, too. <laughs> and besides, I'm not the only one who feels this way. Lemon and Mr. Longface have silly rules for Plum, too. What kind of rules? <laughs> well, uh, Lemon makes Plum wear a green hat to come to the salon, then whistle while she's getting her hair and nails done. Oh, and she has to recite a poem called Ode to a Caterpillar and call <laughs> Mr. Longface Sir Highness Longface before she can even enter his mini bitty golf course. <laughs> I know, I know. I think Plum's rules are silly, too. Holding a grudge does not do anyone any good. But I think you're making things worse by holding a grudge, too. Besides, rules should be for everybody. It's not fair that you just make Plum follow your rules. Oh, that is a good point, Miss Shortcake. Excellent point. Okay, Strawberry. I understand. Me, too. Oh, I'm glad. More tea? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi, Strawberry. Why are you wearing green hats? We gotta. Lemon's new rules. Oh, really? <laughs> Wonderful shot, Sir Highness Longface. <laughs> Ooh, I, I thank you. Oh, too bad. <laughs> yes, it's your turn again, Sir Highness Longface. <sighs> That's my ball, Sir Highness Longface. Oh, my mistake, Sir Highness. I, I mean, uh, oh, oh, this doesn't work playing miniature golf against oneself. Oh, uh, hi. Orange, are you going to come try on your new shirt? It's ready. I don't think so. It's too hard hopping from dot to dot. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, bye then. Hi, Blueberry. Are you coming for your manicure this week? You haven't rescheduled. Sorry, Lemon. My lips are still sore from whistling at my pedicure. Think I better wait till next week. Okay. Uh, no problem. <sighs> Strawberry? Hi, it's Lemon. I'm having a special on facial scrubs today, and, um, well, what I'm trying to say is you don't have to whistle. Oh, you were right. Our acting like Plum doesn't solve anything. Thanks, Lemon. I'm glad to hear you say so. I'll see you soon. Oh, those smell heavenly. <laughs> Thank you. That was Lemon. She's decided to get rid of her silly new rules. So have I, Miss Shortcake. Too much trouble for everyone. No one comes to play mini bitty golf anymore. Now, if only Plum would get rid of hers. <laughs> oh, Plum, you don't have to stand on the dots. I... I, I don't? No, I decided it was a silly rule. People got so tired of it that no one wanted to come to the boutique anymore. Here you are. Oh, it's beautiful, Raspberry. Thank you. Uh, you RSVP'd no to my invitation. Oh, uh, well, you see, the only people who are coming are Blueberry and Strawberry. Oh, it's my new rules, isn't it? Hmm, well... To be honest, yes. I've been too busy to make a yellow hat. Well, guess what? For my recital, I'm waving all the rules at my studio. Now will you come? No hats, no knocking, no password. I'm in. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I wanted to let you know that I'm waving all my dad's studio rules tonight. 
So please come to my recital. Yeah! <laughs> Hi, Orange. Hi, J.D. Bug. Need some help? Almost there. We're going to break this up into bags of nut mix. Aren't they cute? Raspberry made them. She made my dress for my recital tonight. Uh, oh! oh. <laughs> um, That's nice. Uh, gee. I wanted to let you know that for one night, and one night only, I'm waving my dance studio rules. So I'm hoping you'll both change your minds and come to my show tonight. Okay, I'll be there. <laughs> Me too. Outside. You were wonderful, Plum. And what a beautiful costume. Oh, thank you. Raspberry did a great job. Ah! What's wrong? My dance floor. Oh, there are little holes in it. It's ruined. JD Bug! Yes, Plum? Stop! Don't move! Your shoes. What is it? I'm afraid your heels made little puncture marks in Plum's dance floor. Oh, goodness. I feel terrible. But everyone knows my rule about footwear in my studio. No heels. It was my first and oldest rule. But you told us you were waiving all your studio rules tonight. I... Well, I thought that meant the shoe rule, too. <sighs> I am so very sorry. I just didn't think about why you had that rule. But now I see why it was needed. Oh, Plum, what can I do? I'll help you refinish your floor, Plum. You will? Certainly. Me too, Plum. Thank you, J.D. Bug. Don't feel bad. It's my own fault. I didn't make it clear about the rules. Strawberry, you... You'd help me after I've been acting so foolish and holding a grudge and everything? Of course, Plum. I'd be very glad to help. You were right, Strawberry. Your sign-up rule was a good one, and I should have respected it, even if I didn't understand why it was important at the time. If you don't understand why a rule is important, next time, just ask. I will. Don't forget to use two knots. <laughs> we would not want the boat to get loose. And it is Lemon's rule. And it's a good one. It sure is. It won't drift away again now. Most certainly not. <laughs> Beach chairs? Check. Barbecue? Check. Oh, volleyball net. Oh, better get on that one. Thank you, Barricanville. Everyone has done such a great job helping us open the resort on time. <laughs> we'll make sure you and the Barricans get to vacation here, too. How about guests? Hmm, good point. I wonder what's keeping the girls. <laughs> Never heard of anyone being late for their own vacation. <laughs> Patty Persimmon in the Case of the Beach Burglar, Part 1. Great! Now, Part 2. Hmm, let's see here, Patty Persimmon. Ah, there it is! Part three. Part three. I can't just take the first two parts on vacation if I can't find out how it ends. <gasps> Aha! Part three!
Maybe too much wine? Oh, thanks, Blueberry. Let me guess. Couldn't fit your fins in your bag? <laughs> you guessed it. I thought I'd take a little something to read on vacation. <laughs> Are you okay, Raspberry? <laughs> yeah, I just <clears throat> can't get this thing closed. Wow! <sighs> psst, psst. Oh, over here. Uh, hello? Did somebody say something? Huh? <gasps> it's me, Plum. I think one of my fins is stuck. You're wearing fins too? <laughs> my mermaid outfit. Just wanted to do some water ballet. I didn't have room to pack it. <laughs> How'd you know? Lucky guess. Uh, what? Um, that's raspberry. Oh, morning, raspberry. Morning, plum. <sighs> <sighs> Is everything gonna go wrong this morning? <laughs> I'm afraid this is not a good omen for the start of our vacation. There you are, girls. Cherry and I have been waiting at the resort. Let us help you with your, uh, pegs? <laughs> wow! Where's Lemon? Oh, she's coming. Something about a problem with her sunscreen. Oh, oh, see what I mean? What if the rest of our vacation is like today? <gasps> oh, no, no, I'm sure our vacation will be trouble-free and relaxing. I mean, <laughs> after a morning like I've had, what else could go wrong? <gasps> Hello, you lucky people. Mavis Maraschino. Aren't you lucky girls? Here I am. Poor Twinkles. Did you miss me? Thank the stars I caught you before you left. Is it luck or written in the stars? Cherry Jam, do I have a surprise for you? I am doing a new show, Lifestyles of the Very Big Bitty Stars. And guess who I am doing my first episode on? You. Who? You! How Ultra Pop Superstar Cherry Jam spends a vacation at Berry Breezy Bay Resort. Oh, this is going to be fabulous publicity for you, kitten. Really give your career a boost. Um... Brrr, Let's roll! You got it, Mavis. And we're rolling. Excuse me, but I have... Hello, you lucky people. It's me, Mavis Maraschino, and this is Lifestyles of the Berry Big Bitty Stars. We all know there's no bigger Berry Big Bitty Star than Cherry Jam, who's my exclusive guest on today's show. I know you've all been asking yourselves, where does Cherry Jam vacation? How does a Cherry Jam vacation? Well, it's your lucky day because Mavis knows the answer. Cherry Jam is about to take her vacation at super exclusive, reclusive, elite, very breezy Bay Resort. But I'm not. Not what? Not spending my vacation at very breezy Bay. Cut! Cut, 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 cut. Oh. Galloping galaxies. Please tell Mavis why. Very breezy Bay closed early. Bad weather. Treacherous troposphere! Bad weather! Oh, bad way to start a premiere show. Oh, how can I tell my audience that Cherry Jam vacations? Nowhere! <laughs> Not at all! Oh, uh, well, she's going on a vacation at our very own homemade resort. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just down the... The, um... Oh, well, I, I actually don't know where it is. <laughs> Oh, uh, you know, I, I still haven't figured out what's wrong with this thing. <laughs> oh, fixed it. Homemade resort? Oh, sounds rather dismal. Dismal? It means not cheerful. <gasps> Our resort is very cheerful. It's the very best resort ever. Come on, we'll show you. Uh, Pom, maybe we better... Our glorious Berry Bitty Beach. Bo 
Bertrand? With some fancy editing and a very distracting musical theme, we just might pull this off. We do not shrink when faced with a production challenge. We rise to... <laughs> Bertram, stop talking to that mermaid and roll camera. And we're rolling. Hello, you lucky people. It's me, Mavis Maraschino, bringing you a lifestyles of the very big bitty stars. I know you've been waiting all summer to find out where mega pop star Cherry Jam vacations. And now, thanks to me, you're going to find out. I am standing on the beach at the exclusive, reclusive, ultra-luxurious, very breezy bay resort. Um, Mavis? Here's our superstar now. Excuse me, Mavis. You called this the exclusive, reclusive, very breezy bay resort? It's really the happy, home-built, very bitty city resort. Cut! We were in the middle of a take, dear. Well, it's just that... This isn't Berry Breezy Bay Resort. It's Berry Bitty City Resort. Ba, bear, ba, breeze, oh, berry, berry, breezy, baboon. I mean, it doesn't make a bit of difference. Don't you see, my luminous lovelies? We must do the best with what we have. My viewers demand glamour, and they shall have glamour, and glitter, and gobs of both. Now, let's get a beauty shot of me under the palms. I don't know, Jerry. <laughs> Well, Berry Breezy Bay may be closed due to weather, but Berry Bitty Bay is closed due to Mavis. <sighs> There's always next summer to enjoy vacation. Wait a minute, girls. Don't give up on our vacation. This is my fault. She came looking for me. I'll fix it. Just go on with our vacation and, and I'll I'll think of something. Oh, Cherry, where's my little superstar? Quick, under here. <laughs> Cherry, what are you doing here? Shh. Has anyone seen Cherry Jam? Uh, I have no idea. Have you seen Cherry? <laughs> Can't imagine. Hmm. Oh, Cherry, Cherry. <sighs> Thanks, girls. Hmm. This gives me an idea. There's no reason for Mavis to shoot a pop star. If there's no pop star to shoot now, is there? <laughs> no, there isn't. <gasps> Hi, Mavis! Hi, Mavis! Hi, Mavis! Hi, Mavis! Well, hello, Mavis! Oh, oh well, that is it! I can't find her! <laughs> Great idea, Cherry! <laughs> it worked! Bertram! Do we shrink from a challenge? <sighs> we rise to it. Radio, camera ready. I'm going to find that cheery, cherry megastar if I have to stay here all week. Oh, it didn't work. And we're rolling. Hello, you lucky people. It's Mavis Maraschino, and this is Lifestyles of the Very Big Bitty Stars, where today the question is, where in the world is Cherry Jam. This reclusive superstar seems even more reclusive than ever, but never fear, Mavis knows she's near. You girls can't enjoy a relaxing vacation if you're busy hiding me the whole time. Why don't I just let her do the interview, and I'm sure she'll leave. Are you sure? How bad can it be? I'm coming out of hiding. <laughs> Here I am, ready for camera. <gasps> ready for camera? Cut! Cut, 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 cut! Astounding asteroids, they make you cook your own food. I mean, what kind of a resort is this very breezy bay? Um, but it's not 
very breezy bay. Cherry, looks like you need a lesson in superstarring. Mavis knows. Come, come, Twinkles. <gasps> Time for a sweep, Starshine. The water's <laughs> fine. Huh? What? That wasn't nice, Mavis. Yeah! Ooh, I'm so sorry, dear. I'll make it up to you. I'll make you the star of my next episode. There you are, Moonglow. Now lie back. Relax. <gasps> well, don't just lie there like a fallen meteor. Please, fetch Cherry a refreshing beverage. Huh? I'm sorry, Mavis. I can't do this. I can't have my friends... You're right. Only I, me that is Mavis, can show you how a glamorous vacation is vacationed. Where do I check in? Our... First guest! <laughs> Isn't it, uh... Well, there are no words to describe. <sighs> now this is how a superstar vacations. <gasps> That's her eighth lemonade. And she keeps asking for fresh towels. Well... Just think, she'll give our resort a great review, and we'll probably have lots of guests next summer. That would be great, except she keeps calling our resort by the wrong name. Girls, I think it's time that I just, well, politely ask her to leave. Ask her to leave? But, oh, Bitterberries, we've never asked anyone to leave Berry Bitty City before. It seems so unfriendly. Well, She's unfriendly. That doesn't mean we have to be. But we were supposed to be the first guests, not her. <sighs> if only we hadn't made her so comfortable. Now she'll never leave. Comfortable? <laughs> oh, did I ever get an idea. This one's gonna work for sure. And we're rolling. Mavis Maraschino here on a beautiful moonlit night at Berry Breezy Bay Resort. Psst, they're almost ready. Great. Okay, everybody, you all remember what to do? <laughs> crab control to lizard leader. Crab control to lizard leader. The crabs are ready. Lizard leader to crab control. The lizard is ready. Operation Make Mavis Comfortable is a go. Here goes. <laughs> Cherry Jam? <gasps> Run for your life! It's the attack of the pinching all the time. Oh, yeah, along with that four-headed lizard monster and those pinching crabs. Oh! So, you won't hurt our feelings if you want to leave. I mean, that's just too much danger for anyone. We'll understand. <laughs> this is incredible! I had no idea how exciting it is here. The thrill of going mano a Mavis with nature herself. This place has brought me alive. Oh, don't hate me, Cherry Starshine, but I'm finished with celebrity reporting, fluff and silliness. My new show will be an extreme adventure series starring moi. I'll call it Mavis, one maraschino against nature. With all its hazards, this resort is the perfect location. I'll be stationed here permanently. Aww. Aww. 
ordered a backpack lunch of fruit salad and chocolate souffle, heavy on the chocolate. Says she's going on an adventure trek through the jungle where she's going to explore new ground. Oh. Our vacation is doomed. Hmm, new ground. New ground. Uh, Strawberry, do you still have that first draft of your essay? The one you wrote to win us the vacation to Berry Breezy Bay? Yeah, but why? I think I'm getting an idea. Blueberry, I'll need your publishing skills. Cherry dear, don't wish me safe travels because I'm off to shoot my first show in your thrilling jungle. I'll be back in time for dinner if I survive. That sounds thrilling. Almost as thrilling as the latest issue of Beyond Very Big Adventure magazine. Almost. Let me see that. Special report from traveler Maxine Maximum about her adventures on the outrageously exotic, terribly thrilling, terrifically tantalizing perilous passage island? Oh, hazardous hurricanes! Nobody scoops Mavis Maraschino! Bertram! Yes, Mavis? Book us the first flight to Perilous Passage Island! Goodbye! I wanted her to go, but now I feel like I played a trick on her. We did play a trick on her. I guess we never believed it would really work. Now I feel bad. We have to tell her the truth. Um, Mavis? There's something we want to tell you. That story about Perilous Passage Island? There's no such place. Aw, oh, Twinkles. Are you trying to protect Mavis from harm? Well, I am fearless. I will take whatever comes my way to get a great story. No, really. You see, we just wanted to spend our vacation... vacationing together, not working on a TV show. And I should have been up front and told you that from the start. So, the truth is, there is no Perilous Passage Island. <laughs> Perilous pith helmets, that doesn't matter to me. If there isn't an island like that, there soon will be, and Mavis Maraschino will discover it. Or someplace even more harrowing. <laughs> Farewell, Twinkles. I am off to explore uncharted lands. Well, 
I just have to say, Orange, Cherry, and Plum, those were some great stories you told. Oh, yes. Wonderful. Eh, I wouldn't say that. Oh? Well, why not, Sour? Oh, nothing, really. Just that. Well, my sister Sweet and I have a much better tale to tell. We do? Don't you remember? Remember what? Our way more awesome, incredibly dangerous, and gigantically exciting adventure than they had story? Let's hear it! Ooh! Can't wait! Do tell! Wait a minute. Shouldn't we write something out first? And, you know, maybe practice? Nah, just relax. Make it up as you go along. Like you're cooking. I do not make up my cooking as I go along. I follow the recipe exactly. Yeah, I've noticed. A real chef <gasps> knows how to improvise. Did I hear someone say something about topping our stories? <laughs> 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 you did indeed. Take it. Huh? <clears throat> well, once upon a time, a long, long time ago, um, there were two little girls named Sweet and Sour, and they... <gasps> Can you give it just a little more punch? Punch? You know, sock. Uh... Zip, sizzle, pizzazz. Ah, uh, here, watch. What my sister meant to say was, this is the story of something that happened to us a long time ago. But not enough. It's burned everlastingly into our memory. It is? I mean, it was? Help me out here, will you, sweet? Yes. Yes, it was. I mean, is. Ever last, last, ever... What she said. Ah, it makes me tremble to think of that night. That dark, dangerous night in very deep, dark forest. night was just a job like any other night. Full of risk. Full of danger. But someone had to do it. And that someone was... me. There wasn't a moment to lose. We were on a mission of mercy. An expedition of the Berrykin Exploration Society was stranded in the very deep dark forest. Without the food supplies in our truck, they'd have to go to bed without dinner. And that was something we had vowed would not happen. Uh, excuse me? Question? Oh, uh, no big deal, but you keep saying we, so I was just kind of wondering. Where was Sweet? Uh, me? Well, I was... Asleep. Asleep? Off in Dreamland. Out like a light. So, while Sweet snoozed, I raced us down the road on our mission of... Excuse me. <sighs> Question? Just ask him, just ask him. But, uh, with all that bouncing and noise, how could she sleep? She'd just eaten a very heavy meal, okay? Why, yes, a very heavy meal. That's right. So I... It started with a watercress salad tossed with a rich raspberry vinaigrette dressing topped with a sprinkling of crispy croutons. I... Next came a savory noodle soup with lentils, peas, celery, and carrots gently simmered in a broth of... Sweet! Where were we? Oh, yeah, on a mission of mercy. Everything was going simply swell until all of a sudden... It 
wasn't. We were stuck in the mud. Ugh. We weren't stuck. We were sinking. And this wasn't mud. It was a bottomless pit of very, very quicksand. There was only one thing to do. was over, but only for the moment. It would not be over over until I got the truck out of there. <laughs> but even with my magnificently muscle tone strength, it wouldn't budge. a serious problem, and then I had it! I would go for help! Uh-oh, I'd have to go for help fast! If the vine broke, the truck would sink, and the Berrykins would go to bed without any dinner! Oh yeah, and I'd never see my sister again. And so I set off alone. One girl against the wilderness. Uh, excuse me. Question. Why didn't you just wake her up? Yeah, why not wake me up? Are you kidding? Do you know what you're like when someone interrupts your nap time? You are bad news. Mm-mm, no, thank you. Uh-uh. I am not. Are two. Am not. Two. Not. Huh? When? Now, uh, where was I? Going off against the wilderness. Ah, yes. There I was. One girl against the wilderness. One girl deep in the dense, daunting darkness. And did I say dangerous? <gasps> so, there I was, smack in the middle of the most dangerous adventure I'd ever been on. And I've been on plenty. An avalanche in the very big mountains? Pfft. Trapped aboard a sinking ship in a hurricane? Ha! This one topped them all. Jump in any time, will ya? I would, if I knew where you were going with it. Well, how am I supposed to know? This is called improv, don't you know? As I was saying, I had to get help. And fast. But where? It was a big forest. A very big forest. Hey! I'm trying to navigate, do you mind? Expert tracker though I was, it was no use. The stars could tell me which way was north. <gasps> if only I could see them. They say moss grows on the north side of trees. <gasps> forest, it grew on every side. There was no use denying it. I was absolutely, completely, totally lost! You are not the only one. And then I heard it! <gasps> <laughs> heard what? Drums.
Joshua. <sighs> Pinky, that's what I just played. Please! Ugh. Not even close. Okay, I'll try it again. <sighs> one, two, one, two, three, four. Ugh. Ugh. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. What was it? Wild animals? A lost civilization? No, this stinking, overgrown forest. But now, I really couldn't believe what I was seeing. Wild animals are lost civilizations I could buy, but <gasps> this? No way. What, what was, was it? it? Don't ask me. I'm asleep in the truck, remember? I'll tell you what it was. It was... It was... A rock. Band. Hear that? She's doing it again! Day after day, week after week, year after year! Why can't you keep the bait? It isn't me! It's that woodpecker! Every time I get a good beat going, he messes me up! Stick your fingers in your ears and go la la la! If you don't find the beat, we don't get the gig. You want to spend the rest of your career playing for crickets and frogs? Frogs stopped coming a month ago. Just crickets now. Oh, and that rabbit who keeps requesting row, row, row your boat. Well, this was just what I was looking for. A bunch of people who weren't doing anything important and who would be thrilled to help me save a bunch of berrykins from a fate worse than no num-nums. Oh, and save my sister from sinking in the bottomless thingy. <sighs> Aww. So what'd you do? What anyone who was lost in the woods would do. I called for help. Um, help! Huh? <gasps> uh huh? Details. She's Pink. I'm Penny. That's Patty. Music, mirth, and merriment is our thing. So sit right down. The show starts now. Um, but I. Well, see, I'm. Is this thing on? <laughs> really good to see you here. Last concert, nobody showed up at Frogs. The gig croaked. <laughs> Excuse me, I was wondering if you could help me with a little problem I have back there. See, I... heard better music the day I pogo stick to town with an accordion tied to my head. I was so out of there. Or so I thought. No, 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 no! Don't go! Show's just starting! We're just warming up! Here, we'll do one of our biggest requests. And a one, two, three, four! Row, row, row your boat, row, 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 row,
I mean, this was getting a bit too much. I was just this far from telling the Berrykins to go gather their own grub. <laughs> just a figure of speech! And then, there was my sister. I mean, could I let her down? Hmm. Nah. Well, thanks for that, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, whatever did you do? Well, what else? The only thing a hero can do in a case like this. I... I... Ran for my life! and the ponytails weren't going to catch me. <gasps> Not this graduate of the Berry Bitty Correspondent School of Super Heroics. We love to play the great outdoors. The other day, Patty pretended she was a tree. I said, then why don't you make like a tree and leave? Ha 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 ha! Head away, two, three, four! Row, row, row. you get out of that one? How indeed, you ask? <laughs> well, I... I... I didn't do anything. Huh? Uh -huh. I didn't know what to do. <sighs> Fresh out of ideas. Then how'd you escape? She saved me. So you're the hero. Come on, tell How'd us. How'd you do it, sweet? Well, it's sort of hard to remember. Uh, can't blame ya. It's almost a blur to me, too. Well, there I was. In more misery than the day I had nothing for breakfast, lunch, and dinner but Brussels sprouts and lima beans. When all of a sudden, we heard it. Hey! Who's playing that? Oh, yeah, great beat! It was my sister, Sweet. Woke up from her nap and was waiting for me to return. <laughs> well, Sweet's beat just beat that woodpecker all to pieces. And Pinky and the Ponytails found their beat. There was just one more problem to take care of. Pinky and the Ponytails found their beat, and the Berrykins got their dinner. That's great! What a great story! Wonderful! So everything ended happily. Yeah, it was, uh... Why, yes! Pinky and the Ponytails had a hit record and, um, became mega stars, and they were so grateful that they changed their name to... Two sweets and a sour. Yay! <laughs> what a great story!